Hello and welcome to Install Libre. Today we're taking a look at GNU Screen. Technically defined as a terminal multiplexer, Screen can be used to run several login sessions from a single terminal, which is useful when running long tasks on remote servers and for other situations. In just a few minutes of this video, you will learn all you need to know to start using Screen. The application itself is available in most Linux distros, but may not be installed by default. To illustrate our case, let's create a simple bash script, which will continuously output a line of text, pausing for a second each time. We can see that it's working, but unfortunately we cannot do anything else with this terminal until our long-running task is complete. This is where screen comes in. After we start it, the program version and various information is displayed, and we can press space or enter to put us into a bash environment running inside screen. We can start our script, and once it's running, we can press Ctrl A and D to detach from the session. If we check running processes, our script is indeed still running in the background. We can now issue the screen-r command to return to our active session and watch the progress. Let's stop the script and issue the exit command to terminate the screen session. As you would expect, we are no longer able to attach to any running screen session. When creating sessions, it's useful to provide them with names in order to easily distinguish them later. We do that by running screen with the dash "-s flag and supplying our desired name. Let's run our script and detach from this session with Ctrl A and D. If we now run screen-ls, we can see our newly created session with its assigned name. Let's create another session and run our script there as well. If we detach and run screen-ls again, we see both our sessions listed and both instances of the script are indeed still running in the background. We can now reattach to any of our session by supplying either the session PID number or its name. Let's stop the script and terminate the session. As expected, screen-ls only shows the remaining screen session. Another useful feature of screen is virtual windows, allowing us to run multiple things in a single screen session and even have them side by side. Pressing Ctrl A and S splits our screen horizontally. Vertical splitting is done with Ctrl A and V, but may not work depending on your GNU screen version. We can switch between split screen regions by pressing Ctrl A and Tab but nothing is running in the second half because at the moment it's only a graphical separation, not a new session. We need to create a virtual window inside the bottom section, and we do that by pressing Ctrl A and C. This creates another session inside our single screen session. This sounds confusing, hence the naming distinction between a screen session and windows inside that session. Let's detach from the entire screen by pressing Ctrl A and D. Reattaching back, you may think that one of our windows has been lost, but only the split screen representation of them has. By pressing Ctrl A and quotation mark, we can see the list of all active windows inside our session and we can easily switch between them. There are many features to GNU Screen. What you have learned in the last few minutes should be sufficient for most needs. As the cow says, subscribe to InstallLibre channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.